Namaste. Welcome to Sangam World Centre here in Pune, um, in the heart of India. My name is Michelle. I'm the World Centre Manager here in Sangam. I'm standing right in the centre of Sangam. Uh, so here we've got the swimming pool, uh, we've got the dining room, and right in the corner um, is my office, where I spend lots and lots of hours working really hard. So girl guides and girl scouts from around the world uh, come to Sangam to have lots of fun, to do activities, to do leadership training, um, to really experience, uh, experience Indian culture um, and just have lots and lots of fun and meet girl guides and girl scouts from around the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a tour of Sangam and hopefully one day I'll be able to welcome you here into Sangam and into the Sangam family. So I'm going to leave you in the very friendly arms of the Sangam family. Namaste, my name is Adele and I'm a program coordinator here at Sangam. Namaste, I'm Louise and I'm the guest services coordinator. We're really happy to welcome you here to Sangam and we'd love to take you on a virtual tour. So here we are at the very entrance to Sangam and this is a foundation stone that was laid by Dame Leslie Waitley who was the world director of the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. The stone was laid on the 23rd of January 1964 and underneath it there's a copper vessel which has in it newspaper clippings, coins from different countries, postage stamps and grains of rice all to commemorate the, the opening of Sangam. On this side of our entrance you will find a plaque which commemorates the opening of Sangam World Centre on the 16th of October 1966. Our opening was performed by Lady Ole Baden Powell, the World Chief Guide, and was accompanied by 600 Girl Guides and Girl Scouts from 17 different countries. Each year we celebrate Sangam's birthday on the 16th of October, and this year we'll be turning 54 years old. Sangam was built with 10 arches above the bedrooms, representing the 10 original guide walls. There's then three arches above Sangam's front entrance, representing the three parts of the guide promise. And then there's four arches above the carport, representing the four world centres that were in place at the time of construction. reception area which is located right at the entrance of Sangam as you come through the doors. Our doors are always open to you and there will always be someone here to greet you anytime you come. Right next to reception you will find our treasure hunt. You will also find the start and the finish here. The Sangam treasure hunt takes you all over Sangam and shows you every part of our beautiful location. And at the end of the treasure hunt, you also get a prize. Yay! Behind me here, you will find our Yadahe. Yadahe means memories in Hindi, and it's our shop. Our shop has lots of beautiful things in it, including badges, Indian goods, which you'll find along here, our Sangam t-shirts, and various uh, cards and books and items made by our community partners. So we've now arrived to the breezeway area of Sangam. On the wall behind us we have two pictures of influential women to Sangam. On this side we have Lakshmi Mazumda who was the first female national commissioner for the Barrett Scouts and Guides and also the first Sangam committee chair. On the other side, we have Anu Kakare, who was the first guider in charge of Sangam. In the middle of these two photos are a silver trowel and bowl. And so these were presented to Dame Leslie Waitley by the Barrett Scouts and Guides when Sangam first opened in 1966. But they actually went missing for many years and they never got found until 1986 when a guide was looking in a silversmith shop in London and she saw the inscription that said Sangam on the bowl. The silversmith said that the bowl was about to be melted for silver and so the guide bought the bowl and was able to send it back to Sangam where we proudly place it in our breezeway. Hi everyone, 
welcome to our guest services and operations area. This is where you will find our guest services coordinator, our operations coordinator and our deputy world centre manager guest services. This is the area where all guest inquiries come through including house and property, maintenance, bookings and everything in between. Welcome to our World Thinking Day Courtyard. So this courtyard is a really special place because every year on the 22nd of February it's where we gather together to celebrate World Thinking Day. Welcome to our hall at Sangha. So this is the Lady Ratan Tata Memorial Hall and it's where we have most of our sessions inside Sangam. It's a place to learn about India, Sangam and yourself and your leadership as well as making lots of new friends. So I'm sat here in the centre of Sangam and from here you can see my lovely office over here. So I'm really lucky to have the view of the swimming pool. And then over here we have our programme room which is where all the volunteers work really hard are to create the great program for you here at Sangam. So we'd love to have you come to Sangam as a volunteer. It's an amazing opportunity to develop your leadership skills and to work in an international team here at Sangam. To volunteer, you have to be over 21 years of age and you need to send in your application before the 31st of December. You can find all the information on our website or you can follow us on social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or YouTube. At Sangam we have two types of accommodation. We have our private rooms and we have our dorm accommodation like you can see behind us. So we're sat outside dorm one which is where our community program participants stay. So we call these our tare which means star in Hindi because they're the stars of the Sangam family. So our tare come to Sangam for between 4 to 12 weeks and take part in a program that allows them to stay in Sangam but also to volunteer with our different community partners um, around the city. So we've had a lovely walk down to the bottom of our campsite here and we're really proud of our Sangam campsite. It's really a really beautiful place to come and walk around on a morning or evening uh, but it's also a wonderful place to come camping. So we have these camping platforms and our kitchen shelter uh, where you can sleep and prepare your food. Behind our kitchen shelter we have a composting pit which is where all our wet waste at Sangam ends up. And at the end of our campsite is our lovely campfire circle. Here at Sangam we have an environmental princess who looks after all of our environment here at Sangam. And this is her palace. So inside the palace, this is where we do lots of recycling. Uh, so we sort our plastic, our wet waste, and our dry waste. And this is where the magic happens to our wellness shower. Shower translates to school. And this is where we do yoga, meditation, dance, and just a great place to relax in Sangam. Sangam and in India, check out our website and social media to find our Sangam Cup Challenge. It's a special activity pack for you to take part in at home where you can learn lots about Sangam and also a chance to win a scholarship to come here yourself. So this is the end of our Sangam tour. We hope that you've enjoyed seeing our beautiful World Centre and we hope that you'll come and drink some chai with us in the future at Sangam. Cheers! Cheers.